have you heard there's a website who's basically debunking things about the Israeli war and the Hamas attack on it that they say is true and what's not true. And one of the problems, one of the things they're saying is that there was no paragliding into Israel, that that breach did not happen. And I don't know where they're getting their information, but Inside Edition covered that, that they did, in fact, use motorized paragliders. So think to yourself, why specifically would they want to deny the fact that they use paragliders? There's always a reason why there's a specific denial, right? Well, maybe they just didn't do the research. Maybe they kind of stink as debunkers. Or maybe there's a very, very specific reason why they want to hide the fact that they did, in fact, use motorized paragliders. And, well, it's all kind of speculative, but let's consider this. They have frozen the assets that were supposed to have been released to Iran because, in a broad sense, they have funded this. And speaking of funding, paragliders are not cheap objects. Maybe there's a connection to who provided these paragliders. Maybe that's an item that can be traced and traveled to who provided them. How do these Hamas people get these paragliders so that they can fly in like they did? This is Inside Edition. They're a pretty reputable media source. This is updated 27 minutes ago. It is now the 12th of October. So if you see anywhere online where they're debunking that this happened, beware of that source. That's what I say. This was reported on October 9th that for the first time ever, the paragliders were used as an instrument of war. And those paragliders, I bet you, can be traced. Okay, so there was a propaganda video that was put out by Hamas. So this may help clear up some of the confusion with the so-called debunkers. Because of a propaganda video that they released, they're saying that it wasn't used, but that's not true. The propaganda video was basically, well, Hamas's propaganda. <laughs> so I think that these paragliders that are seen here in this background, they're trying to say that that was rockets, but there was rockets that they used as a distraction. But in fact, it has been confirmed that these paragliders were used. There wasn't a whole lot of them. They breached the border in various ways to include cutting fences or just, they just, various ways they breached in different places that they breached the border. But they did use paragliders to enter into Israel. And those paragliders are the key to tracing who funded them. And that's why they're trying to debunk it. So they, Inside Edition, is debunking these debunkers. Look at that. You see that? That's a paraglider. There was rockets, but there was also paragliders coming in. Now watch. You'll see that paraglider. That's a paraglider coming in. See that? They carry a gun that carries two people on the paraglider. Again, Hamas did release a propaganda video. But they did use them in the attack. Watch, you'll see them while the rockets are going over. You will also see that paraglider coming in. Watch and see, you'll see the, um, I don't know why. See that? Definitely they were used. Okay, so this is AP. AP News is doing this, Associated Press. It says, claim a video shows Hamas fighters parachuting onto a sports field before attacking Israeli citizens during a group surprise attack on Israel. The facts. While Hamas did employ paragliders to get some fighters across the border between Gaza and southern Israel, the footage of the sports field show shows parachute jumpers in Cairo, Egypt. So this is another video that somebody else put out that they were debunking. Just so you know that there was actually a misinfo uh, video. So it is confirmed that they did use some paragliders. Um, I have always said that, that a lot of times when there's truth to something that they want to quash, they will deliberately put a misinfo info or info video out there. They will have like an older video from somewhere else. So then when somebody sees a video of the actual truth, they will just say, oh, well, that's been debunked. That is a classic tactic 
of somebody trying to quash the um, video. So that was probably the propaganda video that they put out to try to hide how they got in because those paragliders, like I said, probably can be traceable to who funded them to get those items. So for average cost of a, a powered paraglider is eight to 12,000 each. Now, just today, there was a video about the poverty level for Gaza claiming that 80% live in poverty. So you look at the amount of rockets that they have expended, the amount of guns, the amount of equipment, all this stuff that they have, you know, all the motorbikes, all these paragliders, all this money to fund their ability to come and do this attack and to continue to attack as well. Where do they get the money? Okay, so like just this item in itself, 12 grand each. I mean, who's funding them? That's the bottom line. 